Hello family, today is Thursday, September 21st, 2017, and I have come on to prepare some tempura fried chicken wings. Now first, what we're going to do first is we're going to bring our uh, chicken wings and I'm going to show you how to begin that process in a moment. But this chicken has already been cleaned and it's already prepared. We're simply going to brin our chicken with black pepper, garlic powder, and some seasoned salt. These are our wings. Um, I got them on markdown at uh, Food for Less about a couple days ago. And as you could tell, they are very fresh. Um, and these are the wings that we're going to use uh, today. Now, uh, when I uh, initially get started, especially with chicken, um, you also have to ensure that your working space is very clean and that whatever you're touching, once you begin touching on chicken, then therefore, you know, continue with that same thing because you don't want to cross-contaminate when it comes down to working with chicken. So just be mindful of that from touching all other things because now this field here has is full of poultry chicken so you don't want to start touching over here and touching your seasonings and all that we're just going to centralize in this particular area here okay so but first we're going to go through and we're going to make sure um, we remove like the excess uh, feathers and whatnot on your chicken. Um, I have a, a colander, which is no other than a, a bowl with the holes in it, as my mama used to say. Um, this is an insert that goes inside of my stock pot. Um, and so I use it for a colander for so many other things. Um, but I just didn't want the chicken touching directly on the... Um, in the inside of the sink. Um, you know, some people kind of have a stickler about that. Uh, they feel as though it's not hygienic, um, things of that. Well, I'm not that um, anal about it because um, I use a lot of 10 to 1, which is bleach water. So, and with that, that will just about kill anything. So just be mindful that it's always good practice to not only have your uh, bleachy uh, water, but to also have a bag uh, handy and close um, so that um, you can throw your waste away as you are preparing your meals. Okay, so first, we're just looking around, making sure there's nothing, you know, no excess feathers and things of that in there. Um, before we get this chicken washed up and uh, brined. Now, Auntie, what's Brennan? Brennan, Auntie, Auntie, what's that? What is? What do you mean by saying Brennan? What is that? What does that mean? Well, first, let me start off by spelling it. It is B R I N Bryn. Okay, and um, brining is um, is nothing more than like marinating the meat before you begin to cook it. Okay, so um. Like, say, for instance, you're going to uh, deep fry a turkey. Um, well, you begin to brin the turkey a day ahead of time in a uh, salt water and sugar type of mixture. And what that does is when you brin your meat prior to cooking it, um, the seasoning is down to the bone of the chicken or turkey or whatever you're cooking. Fish. Uh-oh. I'm dropping things. Wow, I dropped my uh, bottle of bleach and it landed upright. Wow, upright. Whoa, okay. So yeah, um, a lot of your places, uh, fast food places and restaurants and whatnot, especially like your AKA Church's Chicken, things of that, um, they brim their chicken and um, they season it ahead of time and... Um, you know, freeze it or even refrigerate it at that point. And then um, after a day or so, then they 
that's the uh, chicken that they rotate for frying. So that is basically what we're going to do is we're going to brin this chicken after we clean it up very well. But also, um, we're not going to brin for 24 hours or nothing like that. Um, it is about uh, 10, 15 in the a.m. So we're going to brin for about uh, three or four hours. And then I'm going to begin, well, a little bit more than that because I'm going to begin frying, say, about 2 o'clock, 2 or 3 o'clock. So that at least gives us a little bit of time. Now, with my elbow, I'm going to cut on my water. And let me get this chicken washed up. Now, to begin our dry bran, we're not going to soak this in the liquid bran. We're going to do it dry. So, um, we're going to start off with some black pepper. I'm not going to touch on this too much because I really don't need to. I really don't need to. What we're going to do is we're just going to season it up. We're going to put the lid on it, and we're going to shake it up. I have a really, really big stickler about things up under my hands up under my nails the grit and so um, just not gonna do it so we're coming in now with the garlic powder I really like garlic powder I really like the taste of it and we're gonna come in with some seasoned salt And we're going to place our lid back on it. Okay. We're going to give it a few more shakes and we're going to place this inside of the refrigerator and allow it to brin for, say, maybe four hours before we begin to fry it. We're going to get this okra cleaned up. We're going to make a little bit of fried okra for the kids. They love it. I like it too. So let's get started with that. Okay, we're going to simply add an egg to our okra. I think I got one little shell in there. There it goes. Okay, and we're going to simply take some onion powder and we're going to sprinkle that pretty good all over them like so. And we're going to shake it up. And we're going to allow this to sit in the refrigerator until we're ready for it. So we're going to take some flour, about a three quarters of a cup. I have to put that much because we're simply coating okra, so we don't have to do that much. Then we're going to come through with our cornmeal. 
and we're going to do like an equal part of the same. Get it open. Why do I have it bagged up like this? Well, I have it bagged up like this to keep it fresh when I'm not using it. So, and you're going to go with equal parts of this. We're going to go with some black pepper. Some garlic powder. Some lard. Come through with some onion powder. And let me get some lemon. Pepper. And you know I got some. There we go. And then we're going to put some lemon pepper too. Taste it a little bit. Okay, it's ready. To make the tempura batter, we're going to go by the um, ingredients of the box specifications, but you do always have to have ice cold water. So, according to the specifications and the directions on the box, it's stating that there's going to be two cups of powder to one and a half cup of ice cold water. So I've taken the liberty of already getting one cup ready. And then the other cup. in here to make it a little bit easier for us to maneuver it. Okay, it's ready. I'm going to add just a little bit more seasoning into this tempura mix. It needs just to be brought up just a little bit. So let's add some of that. You want it coated fully.
тащится. And this is my portion. Good night, family.